Hello, this is Eric with BlackBod Product Support. In today's tutorial, we will be demonstrating how to upgrade the Razor's Edge. Let's get started. Before upgrading, make sure you have performed a backup of your database. If you're unfamiliar with the backup process, feel free to refer to KnowledgeBase Article 75111 or search on KnowledgeBase for how to perform a backup. Feel free to review the video tutorial provided. Before we get started, let's review important considerations before upgrading. The first item you want to review is the system requirements to be sure your servers and workstations are supported. If this is overlooked, you may encounter problems with the software during the upgrade. You can find a link to this document on our downloads page for Razor's Edge. .NET Framework 4.6 is a critical component of the latest version of Razor's Edge. In order to install this prerequisite, you may need to install required service packs, install required Windows updates, and or confirm it is already enabled as part of your operating system. If you are prompted to install .NET 4.6 during the upgrade, then a reboot of the machine will be required in order for the Razor's Edge installation to proceed. If you're unsure of which service packs or Windows updates to install for .NET 4.6, feel free to check Knowledge Base Article 105437. The last item to complete is to confirm that .NET Framework 3.5 is enabled, which is exclusive from 4.6. If it is not enabled, please refer to Knowledge Base Article 72247 for information on how to enable this feature. Before we move on to upgrading, feel free to screenshot this checklist or print for your reference. For the purpose of today's demonstration, we will be upgrading Razor's Edge on Windows Server 2012 R2 which is compatible with .NET Framework 4.6 per our system requirements and no additional service packs are required. However, in order to install .NET 4.6, we must install a specific Windows update, which is KB2919355, which I already have installed via Windows Updates. To begin, download the latest installation package from blackbot.com to your Razor's Edge server. You will find this under Support and then Downloads. You will need a website login and password to access the downloads page. Download and save the installation files to a location such as your desktop on the server where the BlackBod Management Console is installed. Be sure to extract it so that you can access the installation files. Do not save or extract these files into your deploy folder as it is to be used to update workstations only. The deploy folder will be updated automatically during the server upgrade. Double click on the file named setup.exe to start the upgrade. If user account control or UAC is enabled, then click yes to allow the upgrade to run. A list of prerequisites will appear. Click the install button to install the required prerequisites. If you do not have .NET 4.6 installed, you will see it as the first prerequisite that needs to be installed. Once .NET 4.6 is installed, a reboot will be required after which the Razor's Edge installation should resume. If .NET 4.6 is already installed or enabled, then a reboot should not be needed. After rebooting our server, we are presented with the Upgrading the Razor's Edge screen. Click the Next button to proceed. The installation wizard should begin to run. This will take several minutes to complete. Click Finish to exit the installation wizard. Launch the Razor's Edge by double clicking on the shortcut located on the desktop. Next, enter a valid set of credentials to log in with. Once entered, click the next arrow or press the Enter key. You'll then be prompted to perform database revisions to upgrade the database to the version you just installed. Click Yes to continue. The database will now be updated. This may take a couple of minutes to complete. Once the database has finished updating, the update process is now complete on the server. Next, you will need to upgrade the Razor's Edge on any workstations. If you are unfamiliar with how to perform the upgrade on workstations, feel free to refer to Knowledge Base Article 52472 or search Knowledge Base for how to update a workstation feel free to review the video tutorial provided. This concludes our brief tutorial on how to upgrade the Razor's Edge. Thank you for watching. 
I hope that you found this information helpful, and if so, feel free to share with your colleagues. See you next time.